please, my lord. The state just wishes to respond to one or two issues raised by my learned friends. My lord, all that my colleagues did was to take the head, state heads and then to criticize them. However, at, at the heart of the criticism of, of the state's argument, there's this gold, golden thread, my lord, that they categorize the evidence of uh, Ms. Fathillingham and Colonel Stein reg regarding the two calls as, as they put it, my lord, as a, 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 a contradiction. We submit, my lord, that this demonstrates a fundamental misunderstanding, as we pointed out in our heads, of the nature of uh, Ms. Uh, and we say this with the greatest of respect, this demonstrates the fundamental misunderstanding of the evidence of uh, Ms. Fathillingham and Colonel Stein. Uh, we submit, my lord, with the greatest of respect, that there's obfuscation of the role of uh, Ms. Uh, Fathillingham as a forensic officer of a service provider of call data with the role of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Stein as an analyst. <clears throat> an analyst of uh, a, um, a, 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 um, an instrument, a cell phone, and accessing the, uh, the, the downloads on the phone to which the service provider doesn't have access to, um, to these downloads. It's only um, Colonel Stein as an analyst who's got access to these downloads and who can testify about it. Now, my lord, to then categorize the evidence of the two witnesses as a contradiction on this point, as, as, as we've uh, argued, my lord, demonstrate a, a, a fundamental misunderstanding of their evidence and Colonel Stein is available, my lord, um, to clear up this misconception, to clear up this misunderstanding. And as we've submitted yesterday, my lord, it's in the interest of justice that he should be recalled to come and clarify this aspect so that we are all um, on, the, on, on, on the same page. And my lord, it is this fundamental misconception that has led to um, him being accused of fraud of um, uttering and it is this fundament fundamental misconception my lord that has led to um, this personal attack on on colonel stain and the state views this attack in a serious light so much so that we had to drag him out of retirement mindful of what um, advocate mshololo said he's retired my lord but the um, the the allegations that have been leveled against him are so serious that um, they, they, they cannot be left unchallenged. And um, um, even if you know he's in retirement with all the uh, old age ailments, we had to uh, drag him out of retirement, my lord, to come and clarify these issues because it's in the interest of justice, my lord, that um, um, they be clarified. Oh, my lord, stop being dramatic. When you say you dragged him out of retirement, I'm imagining like when he threw the data into the whatever, whatever database. When you dragged him with his old age ailments, are any of those old age ailments present in the courtroom today? I'll wait. I'll wait for you to type it, ladies and gentlemen, in the, co in the comment section down below. Because I, I believe we have a member of the retirement gang, okay, prominently so, the judge, okay. The judge was retired, and I guess he was dragged out of retirement with his old age ailment. Okay, Valoi, you're very quick to forget, aren't you? Now, since you have dragged Stein to the scene, okay, you have brought him back w together with his old age ailments. Is he in a position to remember what he did last year? How he did it? You know, one of the old age ailments, I believe, is dementia. Or is it dementia? So I imagine he will be given access to a laptop that we all know Nisi was denied access to. But, you know, Stein will get that royal treatment. Why? Something tells me it's got to do with the... 
you know what, Mzansi, let's continue listening on because I promise you it only gets more and more interesting. Um, Baloyi, did he really say that um, all the defense did was take his heads of argument and criticize them? You know, one thing about Baloyi, he is petty, okay? He is petty. Judge Rata is not petty. Mm -mm. Judge Rata is highly sensitive. Baloyi, he's petty. He was so petty. He stood up during Nisi's um, submissions and Nisi said, you, you better sit down. You better sit down because I am still talking. All right, Mzanzi, let's get back into it before I digress. Oh, my God. Um, we've been criticized, um, especially by advocate Nisi, that we should have dealt with uh, um, these contradictions. Um, but as we've just indicated, my Lord, that um, viewed in the proper context, these are not uh, um, contradictions. Um, each is testifying about um, the information that is applicable in their area of, uh, of, of expertise. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Sain concluded his evidence on the 1st of August 2023, and um, Advocate Nisi was referring to Exhibit Triple J1, the statement of uh, Ms. Faithillingham, which clearly states that it was deposed to on the 16th of May 2024. So this, uh, the evidence of uh, Ms. Faithillingham um, came much later after the conclusion of uh, the evidence of uh, Colonel Stain on the 1st of August 2023. Mr. Ngumalo um, argued that these are issues that can be addressed in argument, but we submit, my lord, that if there's such a fundamental uh, misunderstanding of the evidence of the two witnesses, the, um, this is the issue that cannot be um, addressed during argument. Um, we. Uh, Therefore, submit, my lord, that um, the, the, the application ought to be granted. Advocate Nshololo said, of argued that the state is uh, asking the court to invoke section 167. Um, on the contrary, my lord, we have stated clearly in the heads that um, this is a, 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 um, a rule of practice. Um, we have, in the meantime, um, found that the, the case that the Court was referring to of David uh, King, uh, case number 86 stroke 09, and judgment was delivered on the 8th of March 2010 by the Supreme Court of Appeal. And what the court said in this judgment um, is already contained in the heads of the uh, state on page 4, paragraph 5. The court said the following There is no such thing as perfect justice. A system where an accused person should be shown every uh, scintilla of information that might be useful to his defense, and discovering criminal cases must always be a compromise, um, and, and this is the portion that we quoted in our heads, fairness is not a one-way street conferring an unlimited right on an accused to demand the most favorable possible treatment, but also requires fairness to the public as represented by the state. Um, this does not mean that the accused right should be subordinated to the public interest in the protection and suppression of crime. However, the purpose of the fair trial provision is not to make it impracticable to conduct a prosecution. The fair trial right does not mean a predilection for technical niceties and ingenuous legal stratagems. We um, submit, my lord, with uh, the greatest of respect that um, this is um, an instance where the, the interest of justice trumps any other uh, consideration. What, when, when Advocate Mshololo referred to the, to the fact that uh, the state is invoking, or is asking the court to invoke section 167, um, we merely quoted section 167 to indicate, my lord, that uh, um, the application of the state is not an unusual occurrence. Um, there's already provision for such um, a, a, a procedure in our law. Um, we therefore, my lord, request that the uh, application be granted. Yeah, that's for my education, if there is a lack of it. Can legal representatives, meaning the state, can the state and also the defense invoke section 167 or 186? and persuade the court or extol that persuasion to the court to say, 
court, the court is entitled or can invoke section 167 or 186, not out of its own mero motto. Are you with me? Yes, I, I, indeed, my lord. Is it legal? Let's, uh, let's and, hear Ms. And, and, Mr. Gomez or Mr. Mieki first. Yes. Yes. Can litigants, represented litigants by the state and by the prosecutor and by the defense, implore a court uh, my to lord. exercise yes. its own? I, I hear the court. Oh, you've heard it. I hear the Thank court. you. My lord, um, uh, <laughs> in all the cases yeah. that uh, we researched yesterday yeah. after uh, this application was made. Mm -hmm. Actually, they indicate that it is actually the court that can invoke that uh, section to recall. There we have it, okay. Ooh, Advocate Valoy completed his resubmissions of his heads of arguments, or should I say responded to some of the submissions from the defense team, his learned colleagues, okay, as he sarcastically addresses them, okay. And he goes on to say, he act, so Valoy actually literally addresses his colleagues and say, they, they, criti they criticize my work. And now they have suspicions, but they don't even understand that Upinki is just a forensic officer of a service provider. But Stein, Stein is an analyst. <laughs> Stein is an analyst, okay? Was, first of all, you're the one who told us he's retired. He was an analyst. But you know what? I'm being petty, so let me let me not be petty. And then he also hints as well. He also he already gave us members of the public how this is going to go down. They're going to throw Pinky under the bus. Tell say that you know what? Pinky didn't quite understand what she saw. She's just a forensic officer of a service provider. But Stein Stein is the real deal. Stein is the analyst. You know what? Because Stein, he, he throws data around. Okay, He throws data and then it sticks and then things come out of the data and then it's now attached to the 205 and then and then after it's attached to the 205, the number of Arthur Mopakela shows up, okay, on Kelly Kumalo's calls, okay? There's no way that a forensic analyst, a forensic officer from a service provider would know this. This is, this is deeper, okay? Because Stein, he went deeper, okay? He he did the analytics, okay? He he knows how to look at numbers. Somehow, somewhere they changed, but that's that's not what happened. Pinky didn't say it well, and you guys just, just heard that and ran with it. That's not what Stein is here to say. It's just a misunderstanding of evidence. Oh, my God. Like, Valo is really taking us for a fool... But you know what? I'm going to ride that roller coaster with him just to hear how, how they're going to, how do they say it? How they're going to change what we heard Pinky say loud and clear into an understanding, a misunderstanding. They're going to move us from a misunderstanding to an understanding. It has become, it is going to be clarified for us. Okay. And then um, another thing that Ovaloi went on to say is that th there is no contradiction between Upinki and Stein. You guys have a wild imagination, okay? Each is just testifying in their area of expertise. And this, ladies and gentlemen, in Judge Rutter's words, you better get your own experts, defense team, because Ovaloi is already playing you right here, right now. I did not hear them say they will bring their own expert. I have had several experts in my comment section okay send me an email send me an email okay go ahead send me an email because the experts are experting there's a comment i got yesterday i don't know if i'll be able to find it oh <laughs> i have it all right i get many of these comments okay guys i sometimes i have over 700 comments on my videos but trust me i see them this comment says i've said it a thousand times we require an independent expert cell phone data analyst. Okay? So let me say it one more time. I've said this a thousand times. We require an independent expert cell phone data analyst. Okay? He must have, he, she must have a Bachelor of Engineering and Electronics Engine. Or, wait, he must have a Bachelor of Engineering and Electronics Engineering or a Bachelor of Science and Computer Science. <laughs> a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Information Engineering or a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, okay? Basically, there must be a bachelor. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The, the, at the bare minimum, 
they must have a bachelor in Don Don, okay? But then we can go masters and then we can go even super high. We can go PhD, okay? Not PDF, PhD, okay? Stein or Pinky are not qualified to work on such things. Amen. Amen. I feel like this is the time for us to pass around the basket in the church and take a collection because this this is a word. This this is a word. I agree with this comment. Stein or Pinky are not qualified to work on such things. I always make an example of myself. Okay? The builder, bricklayer, cannot explain why their cracks appear on the wall a few la- a few years later. A structural engineer can. It's a similar analogy. I, I I heard you loud and clear. So a builder or a bricklayer, okay, cannot explain why there are cracks why there are cracks that appear on the walls a few a few years later, but a structural engineer can. It's a simple analogy. Regarding Rata, the criminal justice system has been failed. Recalling Stein is a mistake. This state is not being sincere. They're definitely cooking. I wonder if they will have six gun this time. No pun intended. Okay, Mzansi. Okay, so you know what? Just when you think things are going well, then you hear Judge Rutter say, just for my education, okay, just for my education. I don't know what it was about yesterday where he was using words like, I'm not stupid or I'm stupid. Um, Now he's saying just for my education. The defense really, really got on his nerves. They really touched a nerve by trying to educate him on how a judge is supposed to act. And Ndondonis, all those Ndondonis, they were doing all those hints, they were dropping at him. He didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. Okay. And then he goes on to talk about section 167 or 186. Basically, <laughs> I'm. I am the absolute power in this courthouse. There is no one who can um, call a witness back except I, myself, Judge Rata. You know what, Mzansi, that is it from me today. I want to hear from you in the comment section. So let me uh, let, let me end it here and let's continue the conversation in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love it. Um, when you do, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've made it this far in the video, you already know I absolutely love it when you do. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've watched all the ads, oh, you have my heart as well. Thank you so much. Remember to drop a comment because if you don't comment, I don't know you watched the video. So it's an unknown secret of YouTube, okay? If you don't comment, because I know you guys, I know there are people who are watching from outside the club. It's time to come in, okay? It's time to come in welcome home. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. I will be going live. I'm just waiting for my mixer to arrive because, you know, I, I, I'm an entertainer, okay? I need to get that live popping. So once my mixer arrives, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, they'll be soundtracking, okay? That's all I'm going to let you know. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. I'll catch you definitely on my next upload.